Welcome back, my fellow duplicates, to Oxygen Not Included. So today, we're going to deal with our inventory problem. So in order to do this, what I really need to do is figure out how many resources I have on one side of the map or another. So there's been a fair number of ideas kind of floating around the discords and whatnot of how to automate the inventory system. And, and a lot of these are really kind of the same sort of idea just laid out differently depending on what kind of map you have, which is there's a bunch of receptacles. Inside of that receptacle would be something like an auto sweeper, which could then pick up out of one spot and deliver it to all of these different loaders. However, what I'm looking to do here is something a little bit different. And I would say it's unique to this space because of how irrelevant all of this really is over here. So what I'm going to try to do is use that same trick that we're using over here with the conveyor chute, where we detect a certain type of thing that's moving past it, and then use that conveyor chute as a filter. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to build a rail right here. And here's how this rail is going to work. I'm going to use a conveyor rail element sensor. I'll put it upstream. And then just below that, I'm going to do a conveyor chute right down here. So if the material that I detect is the correct one, then I open the chute up, which will then cause the material to drop out right here. If not, it'll continue to go past. And where's it going to go? It's going to go off to the right. And that is where I'm going to have yet another sensor. And then it will go right up here like this, where I have yet again, another little chute like that. So that's kind of the arrangement right there. So if I make a blueprint on this real quick, maybe I call this a filter conveyor, and then I start to build it out just like this. Then as we move from left to right along this conveyor, in every single tile right here, or every column, we can sort out a single type of material. And as you can imagine, it is packed full of automation. Mm. All right, so you can see right here, I'm actually sorting out 22 different things in just that one area. And then if I wanted to ship things around, what I could do is just put auto sweepers right down here. And then those can service loaders if I need them to. Now I'm going to leave two gaps right here and that is if I wanted to put a conveyor loader right down here. So I can pick it up and put it into this machine and ship it away. I'm then I'm going to leave one more spot right down here. This is where liquid is going to go. And then just down there, that's where I'm going to put weight plates. So now with these weight plates, I can send an automation signal out from here to say we do have enough materials on hand. So therefore we can use it for something. So that's what I'm going to try to build up today. Now, some other things have happened here in the last couple of hours of me just playing the game. A lot of kind of boring stuff that I figured, that, you know, I'm just not going to record it because it's just it's too boring. All I did is uh, get these pumps up and running here so that it's polluted. Water is actually pumping from there over here into some tanks and then actually going down here into the, the basin down here so that I have water. The other thing is just kind of getting these plants up and running. So I got some water weeds growing. And hopefully over here, I'll get a little pip and then I can start planting up some wild plants over here. And, but as you can see, I put in a lot more Atmo suits over here. Uh, having only one for a certain amount of area just unfortunately wasn't really allowing duplicates to do things. Like we could harvest with one dupe. However, we couldn't really deliver to things like the storage bins, which I put right here. This is full of bleach stone, just so it's nearby to get to the water weeds and, or dirt here. So one of the things I noticed that was kind of messing me up here was that I had the automatic dispensers set to a really high priority. So when my dupes would go into the Atmos suits down here to sweep up from way down here, they were actually not using the conveyor loader. Matter of fact, they were just running all the way up there to the ore dropper. And that really slowed things down for a little while. But the idea is to be able to actually take this thing here and load it up and then ship things. That, however, does highlight another potential problem here, and that is that we have a lot of heat down here. If I go to ship into a certain area like this, I may not want to bring super hot things, especially if we start to bring stuff back from space. That stuff might end up really hot. So what I'll have to have is some sort of spot where I, I cool it off. Now, what I'm thinking is I can go ahead and use these weight plates down here because they are made of refined metals. So they naturally will have an ability to kind of cool down anything that's close to them. And if I put some liquid up there, then it should do a good job of balancing out the temperature. However, I probably will want to hook up a steam turbine over here and then really start the temperature control things. If you take a look at the temperatures, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. This spot's starting to get a little warm. It's got a lot of batteries and transformers over there. Plus the generator runs every now and then, but 
the batteries are what's really producing the heat over there. One of the other things I'm doing over here, just to kind of keep the puffs moving, is I'm just going to put them in this environment where there's a little bit of polluted oxygen. They should enjoy that. And there should be a nice supply of polluted oxygen that flows off of this thing. Although from the looks of it, oh my gosh, I got too much water over here. It's actually just kind of backed up because this water sip doesn't run quite fast enough for it. Might need to expand this down a little bit, which is fine. All in due time. Aha, there we go. Allow manual loose. Allow manual use and everything except for C. Okay, well, we can do C. Let's just not... Let's avoid the spore childs if possible. Oh, here we go. Now I got three dupes coming down here. Dupes, you brought things from above. No, don't do that. We don't need those. Understand proximity, dupes. Ah. Oh. There, this is what I'll do. We'll just put sweeper arms down there. That'll take care of it. Resources are on their way. Just reworking all the conveyor rails over here. Uh-oh. Didn't really want that to ship out just yet, but it is. No, 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 no. Please stop shipping liquid. <laughs> You're not supposed to be able to ship liquid. <laughs> Intensely bright. Oh, my dupes get a debuff every time they go past here. Watch, watch Star go past. Intensely bright. Ah! Oh! My eyes! I gotta put the little noisemakers on this every time they run past them. You know what? I think it's hammer time. You know, I really couldn't think of anything more pointless to do with automation than this, but here we go. Don't judge me, I ran out of room. <laughs> What's the priority on that stuff? Oh, eight. Well, I guess that'll get done. You know what? Ethanol seems like a fantastic liquid for this spot. Why not? I've got ethanol right there, so let's go ahead and just make use of it. Matter of fact, if we go over here, we put a little pitcher pump. We're doing all the important things. All right, so let's think of the different resources I want to filter out, one from another. So the things that I really need to know here is things like metal. So let's just start with those. Aluminum ore, copper ore, iron, wolframite. This would be gold amalgam, which I don't have yet. I could probably get it from some sort of asteroid, so I'll, I'll leave it there. Next up is going to be refined metals. So that would be aluminum, copper, gold, iron, lead, and tungsten. And then niobium and thermium are going to be the next two as well. We'll put filtration medium. All of these can be kind of hot. So that'll be sand and then mafic will be over there. So that'll be sand. And then I think we'll have regolith right over here, which might be kind of hot, but we'll try to get it down there. Then the important stuff like algae. Yep. I don't care about eggshells or polluted dirt. Well, polluted dirt. Sure, why not? And some slime. Ceramic is always good. Fossil. Granite. Igneous. There's so many different materials in this game. It's it's incredible. <laughs> like, let's just hear it for the devs, because they put up with a lot of stuff in order to get all of this stuff into one game. There are, like, over a hundred buildings in this game. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay, we're gonna need stuff like bleach stone. You know what, at this point, <laughs> we're gonna need a second line. But I guess we could always just kind of refilter this side and bring it back. Let's just see how it works to begin with, and then we'll kind of go from there. I'm just glad we're getting the important stuff out of the way, like all these liquid pipes. I mean, seriously, who needs wallpaper when you just have a bunch of liquid pipes in the background? They're granite, though. They, it should be very nice decor. See? <laughs> Look at that nice decor. <laughs> okay, here's another thing that I was looking to do. We'll set this to a lower priority, but all of these airflow tiles I have inside here, really not necessary anymore. It was good when it was things were a little bit more restricted, but now that my base is nice and open, I would rather have the metal. Now, replacing a lot of this should help. Another thing is I'm also no longer feeding copper to the critters over there. They are just slowly starving to death. Mostly just focusing on stone hatches and normal hatches. These little smooths are going to be hungry for a little while. But you know what? At least they're happy. Here we go. Liquid, you are going to be ethanol. And you can auto bottle. All right. So with all of this stuff built, look at that shipping go. Douche, 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 douche. Okay, now let's go back here and deconstruct all of the ladders. Actually, you know what? Let's hook up the power first before we do that. <laughs> we have yet to ship anything I'm actually filtering. What are we shipping? Just 
Boatloads of dirt. Okay. I mean, to be fair, this thing is going to be shipping stuff for a long time. Like, this thing is just going to be there forever. It's going to take like a hundred cycles or something probably to filter all of that stuff out. There we go. Cleaning it up. Good job. All right. So one thing I should be able to do here is I should actually be able to build in ladders right down here so that the dupes stand on top of the ladders and they don't get wet feet constantly. So that way, when they come in here to pick up whatever resources they need, if they need to go build something or whatnot, then hopefully they don't end up with a stress debuff. Yeah, see? Now they're standing on top of the ladders. Aha! Take that inventory. You know what? Let me just set this thing to dirt real quick. Consumable ore. You know what? Right next to sand, let's go ahead and just put... Let's see. Let's see what happens. There we go. See, that one's true. Ha! However, what I noticed is that... This did not make any noise, even though it did move. Maybe because these are not long enough. <laughs> Here we go. If I switch it, it does make a noise. Dunk. <laughs> but if I unplug it real quick here, just to kind of see if it will make a noise without plugging it in. Mm, I get the motion, but not the noise. Okay, well, it's clearly not worth this much power, but for a little while, we'll give it a try. Just for the fun of it. Oh no, what, what's happening here? More mopping? Ah! Uh, let me guess, because I opened the door up. <sighs> yeah, because I opened the door up. I did this for you, Puffed. Doops, we gotta come up here and we gotta build this even bigger. See, Doops, I know you may have thought that you had all of this done, but there you go. Open up the top. Very nice. Good job. Wall yourself in. I built this whole filter system and all we've done is ship dirt. Come on, I want to show something different. Here, here. What do you contain? Unlimited amounts of dirt. Of course you do. How about... Disable dirt for a little while and then ship something a little bit different. Oh, -ho! there's an interesting idea. Look at that, different things. Now, play some music. The sound of filters. Here's our soundtrack. I mean, it's no Mozart. <laughs> the dumbest thing ever. Hey, there we go. Starting to get some other dings there. It's actually kind of cool that it's set up like this. Because every once in a while, you're like, oh, hey, look, something's being filtered out over there. I, I mean, I don't know how much power it's really using. Let's go ahead and take a look. Previous cycle. The hammer used a massive 540 joules. <laughs> so not too bad. <laughs> or 480. So it's actually really not using that much. Okay, one day was like five kilojoules, but still, okay, not too bad. Probably won't keep it there long term, but you know what? It's kind of cool. And it is filtering things out. So if we take a look at something like this way plate right here, which I still need to sweep up the stuff on top of it, but you can see the the total amount of dirt there. Look at that, 28,520 kilograms. This is a way for me to actually see fairly quickly how much of a resource I have right there. So there we go. 28,420 kilograms of dirt. So I don't have to like count everything up right there. I could just look right down there and get my total, which is a lot like the resources tab over here, but this way it's only on one side of the map. So that's pretty neat. At any rate, that's all I got time for today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little episode here of Oxygen Not Included. Have a great day and I'll see you again tomorrow. Stay awesome guys. Peace. Brothgar out.